Are you gonna kill me? No, absolutely not. You're okay. totally fine. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Say when. So, yeah. What? Okay. When? <laughs> hey. Hi, this is Katie Fernbacher, and this is GigaOM TV's Green Overdrive Show. And we're here in San Francisco at Lit Motors with Daniel Kim, who is the CEO and founder of Lit Motors, and they make electric scooters and vehicles. So tell me a little bit about what Lit Motors is doing. Uh, Lit Motors is a, it's a transportation company, and basically we see that uh, two-wheeled vehicles are the systemic solution to uh, sustainable transportation. And um, we are basically taking um, two-wheeled vehicles and trying to increase the proposition and value um, throughout a global market of motorcyclists and scooter riders. And you guys are concentrating on electric vehicles specifically, or battery powered? Yeah, they're all specifically uh, electric. Uh, some of them have two-wheel drive, um, but uh, yeah, we basically we see electric vehicles are the future. And we're standing in front of um, your electric scooter, the cargo scooter, or yeah. that's the prototype name right now. Yeah, that's our, that's our secret name. Yeah, basically um, this is a uh, cargo scooter for the develop developing world. Um, it's basically the pickup truck uh, where two-wheeled vehicles are a necessity, um, like in China, India, you know, Cambodia, um, you know, in some parts of uh, Southern America. But um, yeah, basically this takes a 22 by 22 inch box. It can take a 300 pound load. Um, it's incredibly stable um, and it's, uh, it's really fun to ride actually. But um, yeah, and it folds, it loses 50% of its footprint. So Daniel, tell me what stage of production you guys are. Are you selling these now? Uh, we're actually, actually in the summer, we're going to build around five or ten of them and uh, do a small scale uh, production run. Um, but I think after that in six months, we're going to do a larger scale production run of maybe 100 to 1,000 units. Um, and then um, after that, go uh, big time and go to 50,000 to 200,000 units um, in India and China. So. And then China and India has to be pretty low cost, right? Yeah. So like, what are your price yeah. points you're shooting for? No, um, so in China, uh, we're looking at um, around 500 to $800 um, US, um, the equivalent. And then uh, here stateside, we're looking at um, around 2,000 to 4,000 uh, dollars. But it depends on which one. So. We have two models of folding and the non-folding version. So this one's odd, like the flagships, like the uh, Porsche GT of scooters. <laughs> so, And the battery, what, what kind of battery do you guys use? Yeah, so we're using lithium polymer right now. Um, the range for this um, is around 40 miles, 40 to 45 miles. Um, but since it's a cargo scooter, you can actually pack more batteries into the mm. scooter. And uh, theoretically, you could actually extend your range to 200 miles. So. Nice. Yeah, which is, you know, basically uh, that's uh, what these developing worlds need, so. Yeah. So from a purely selfish perspective, when can I buy one? You can have this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take it. No, like when will it be on the market, say for, mm -hmm. you know, a regular California consumer? Probably around in around six months to eight months, yeah. Okay. So Daniel, after the scooter, you guys are graduating to a full car, or well, a two-wheeled car. Yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, the um, this is a C1. It's uh, we take the uh, romance and the efficiency of a motorcycle, um, and we uh, integrate that with the safety and convenience of a traditional car. So uh, yeah, if you want to jump in. And this is an electric vehicle, also. Yes, right? it's a two-wheel drive, um, fully enclosed, self-balancing motorcycle. This is our. Uh, basically vehicle architectural model. Yeah. So this basically gives a Clearly good Clearly it's a concept because it's got Absolutely, absolutely. A I mean most of our wheel. it's fully enclosed. There's a, there's a safety cell. Um, you've, you're using a unibody chassis in our design, our final design and uh, there's going to be a carbon fiber and a steel reinforced door. So um, the, what the great thing about our technology that uh, that balances this vehicle is that um, when you get hit like from the side um, like a motorcycle would typically just fall over um, and you know the rider gets thrown. Um, in this vehicle actually the, uh, the wheels of the entire vehicle actually scoots or skids. Hmm. So um, it acts just like a car except for it's a two-wheeled motorcycle. Okay and when is this coming up? This is kind of yeah this is two two and a half years out so okay. yeah this is kind of our uh, this is our big project. All right so I'm on the street outside your guys's office. <laughs> How do I ride this thing? Okay, it's, it's super intuitive. Uh, don't let the tank steering uh, kind of uh, psych you out. Um, really, you just uh, hold the handlebars forward uh -huh. straight and just tilt to, to actually tilt and lean to actually steer it. So, okay. 
Just look forward, don't look down. You'll be fine. There you go. At yeah. low speeds, it's like hard to, it's a little wobbly at a low speed. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. then the high speed, it's like normal. Yeah. All right, Daniel, thank you so much for showing us around and for taking me for a ride yeah, and for the interview. Yeah, we anytime. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.